to apologize. My voice is a little bit froggy. I got a little too turnt last night. I went to a 90s dance party, and all I got was this terrible Tara Reid voice. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, I don't know who needs to hear this, but have better orgasms. Okay? <laughs> Those of you who have mastered DIYing your orgasm, I totally praise you and bravo. But those of you who haven't, please prioritize your own pleasure. Master your masturbation, okay? I haven't, it wasn't until very recently that I actually befriended a vibrator, and it's changed my life. And not just from the aspect of the orgasm, but other aspects of my life. Um, one thing being, it significantly changed my plan ahead factor. <laughs> Let me explain. So imagine this. Imagine you've opened a bottle of rosé, okay? You've taken a hot bath, maybe with some Epsom salts, lit some candles, you're really feeling it, right? So you're going to town. <laughs> Doing all the things. <laughs> you know you like it. <laughs> and you're almost there. <laughs> Excuse me? Did I just get ghosted by my own vibrator? <laughs> and just like that, my vibrator went from soulmate to fuckboy in a matter of time. <laughs> you must believe I set up a damn charging station right next to my bed to what? Plan ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's talk about CBD. Are we doing that? Are you guys doing CBD? Yeah? Lots of head nodding. Love it, love it. I feel like it came really fast the way that, like, chia seeds did. <laughs> it was like the, you know, cure-all health solution for a lot of people. Have you had chia? Do you want some chia in your shake? It's a chia cookie. I tried CBD not too long ago, and I just, like, I don't know. Maybe I just didn't have the right kind. I think in my head I was really hoping that it would get me high. I don't know. <laughs> There's got to be some kind of, like, CBD, THC hybrid, right? I haven't been very proactive in seeking it out, but you know, don't get me wrong, I won't like refuse to try it again. Like tonight, if someone were not. <laughs> Those of you who are nodding your heads, I'm looking at you. I wouldn't turn it down. Uh, I'm uh, thinking about getting a dog. And I know, I'm like really excited about it, but I keep telling my family and my sisters how excited I am, and none of them are supportive about this. All of them are like, they need a lot of attention, and they're so needy. And to be honest, as much as they're calling me on the weekends, asking me to come home. <laughs> it's water Um, so, as much as they're calling me on the weekends and texting me, hey, your aunt's in town, you should come see your sister's baby, we just got a new house, I'm really like, I don't know, you guys are the ones that need a lot of fucking attention. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a lot. It's too much. I'm, um, so, fun fact about me, uh, I'm really into cults. And not like, not like being involved in a bunch of cults, like learning about them. Um, and my latest obsession is Wild Wild Country. Yes. In that. It's a six part doc on Netflix. Um, I actually worked on that show. Yeah. And by worked on, I mean powered through the whole series in one I'm still waiting on my IMDb credit, but Netflix will get back to me. Um, and Anyway, it's so amazing to me, it's fascinating to me to think about how, you know, all these people are really looking for community and are really sold by this whole idea of, like, bettering yourself. I mean, that's pretty great, right? Like, who wouldn't want that? But, you know, the bad thing about it is it's mostly led by narcissistic leaders who are looking to try to make a quick book and oftentimes lately end in trauma or murder and suicide. But to be quite honest, I'd rather be part of a sex cult than have to go to Catholic Mass every Sunday. <laughs> that shit is not fun. <laughs> you hear me? Oh, no. But I mean, quite frankly, that's also turned it into its own predatory sex cult. So, um, speaking of cults, Gwyneth Paltrow's goop lifestyle has been in the news lately. 
Um, this time it's one of her employees. So this is super juicy. Um, her director of brand partnerships is being investigated uh, by the Goop Company because she was soliciting sponsorships for personal use. And guess what she was going to do? So I did some digging and found a pitch deck for... <laughs> she made this pitch deck to send to sponsors for an engagement video, like a staged engagement video that spanned multiple countries over the course of weeks, she was going to be posting these videos on her Instagram, like her, her IGTV, her stories, her feed, and she was trying to get sponsors to do this. Like, that's the kind of shit that makes me want to get off Instagram. That is like, she's out here doing the most, just really trying to flex on the gram, and she's like, might lose her job. So that's amazing to me, but that's also 100% the content that I'm guaranteed going to watch and share with my friends. So, yay for sponsor content. <laughs> I uh, do want to share this story with you guys before I go. Um, so I was at CVS recently, and I was buying condoms, and I have a preference for flavored condoms. Now, stay with me. I know a lot of you guys are like, that's such a novelty thing, and like, what a rookie move, but you know what? I'm enjoying this later in life hoe phase, so. <laughs> so I go to the cashier, and she's like, oh shit, these are a thing we have these here? And I know we all have this irrational fear, right? Where you go to the cashier and you think that they're gonna comment on the things that you buy, but that's never happened to me before. So it really caught me off guard. And so I was like, what do I do? And I just blurted out, yeah, girl, get in on that. It's gonna change your dick sucking game. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know this woman. <laughs> Standing there, like nodding and smiling, <laughs> having the exact same thought. She now knows I've sucked a cherry flavored dick. I now know she's about to. So she rings me up, and I go out to my car. And as awkward as that was, I had a realization. I have forever changed the way I th th this woman sucks dick. Call me a tastemaker, y'all. <laughs> And while we're at it, I do want to remind you guys, y'all have to protect yourselves out there, okay? There's a lot of, you know, things floating around. You just got to be careful. There's going to be people telling you, oh, I'm allergic to latex. But look, there's lambskin condoms. I don't know if those come flavored. Now that I think about it, what is that, veal? I don't know. And you might have some people saying that they're too big for condoms. There are sizes for everyone. Matter of fact, if you have someone who says that they're too big for you, send them to me. <laughs> I'll take care of them. And when you get them back, his dick will taste like cherries. <laughs> All right, John Smith, are you